Today, I will be demonstrating the curves adjustment in raw power. This is a very powerful adjustment that can make very precise changes to your images. To do that, let's look at this image here. It's underexposed and has a tint. As you can see at the top, all of the clipping indicators are off, which tells you that none of the pixels are clipped. And you can also tell by looking at the histogram there's a significant bluish tint to the image. So let's use the raw power curves adjustment. The easiest way to use curves is using the auto buttons at the top of the adjustment. The first one is an auto black and white, which maximizes contrast by setting the black and white points of the combined channel. And as you can see from the histogram and curves, the brightest point in the image is really only a little bit more than halfway in the histogram. So when you click that button, the white point moves and the image has a lot more contrast. But it's still going to have a bluish cast. We can fix contrast and the cast at the same time by clicking the auto RGB button next to it. Now what you see is an image that has contrast and the color of the background has been revealed to look more natural and correct. If you look at the curve, the, the curves in the histogram here, you'll see the red, the green, the blue, and the combined are all present and they've all been moved different amounts and that's because there is a cast in the image and that's now been fixed by adjusting each channel individually. Another way to do the same thing with curves is using these samplers here. If I have a specific point in the image I want to be determined or to be considered black, I can click on first the black sampler, so perhaps this part of the costume. You can see that the curve has changed slightly. We'll do the same thing for a white point. We'll pick perhaps this part of the dress. Now you'll see that the curve has also changed quite significantly using those as black and white. Now if those points are not actually what you desire to be black and white, then the image can become a little bit overexposed. You can correct that either by manipulating the curve or perhaps just by going into the exposure slider and backing it off a little bit. But by using the samplers, you are telling raw power what you want to consider black and what you want it to consider white yourself. So it gives you a lot more control. You can do the same thing with this middle button which sets a 50% gray. The fourth control is a target control. What we can do there is pick any, pic any pixel on the image and it will drop a point on all four curves. So if I drop a point right there in this blue part of the window frame, you'll see I've got a point right here on the gray curve and a point here in the red on the green and on the blue. By placing a point on these curves, I can now manipulate that pixel or even that channel of that pixel to get a very specific adjustment. So for example, I could manipulate the blue channel right here to give myself the correct or desired look for that window frame. So I'll make a small change there and you can see the curve has been changed. The gamma and the equal RGB buttons are very advanced controls. What they currently show you is the mode that Curves is running in. It's running in gamma corrected mode and equal RGB. The gamma button determines whether or not the Curves adjustment is applying its changes to gamma corrected data or linear data. By default it starts in gamma corrected data because that's what people are generally used to looking at in the image and in curves. Please note that raw power is never actually keeping data gamma corrected. At all times it runs with linear floating point data. However, when it's set in gamma mode here, the curves filter converts the data to gamma, manipulates it with curves, and then converts it back to linear data. 
again, all at floating point, so there's no loss of precision or information. If I switch this to linear, then the curve processes using linear data instead of gamma data, so there's more information in the bright part of the image because of the conversion to linear. Equal RGB is also the default setting for curves, which is affecting just how the combined channel is processed. So let me just show you just the combined channel. Normally, and by default, when it's equal RGB, each of the red, green, and blue channels are moved equally. So if I make a change to this spot of the curve, for example, it's going to move the red, green, and the blue channels the same amount. And that's usually what people want in for balanced images, but it will also tend to uh, increase tints in a lot of cases. In that case, you can switch to luminance. When you're in a luminance mode, then the curve is actually processing the combined channel data or the combined curve data using luminance. So what it does is it takes the pixels in RGB, converts them into a luminance space, manipulates the luminance curve, and converts back to RGB. This is a really great way of working with the curve that does not cause uh, additional shifts to the image in terms of tint. And is what you'll see a lot of advanced books and websites describe when they uh, mention using curves, which is to switch to LAB rather than process things in RGB. It's a multi-step process to do that in an app like Photoshop, but in raw power, you just have to press this button and it does all the work for you. So there's a lot of advanced controls here. There's some very simple controls like auto RGB and auto black, as well as samplers. And the final thing to show at the bottom are the black and white points. These let you simply adjust what's considered the brightest and the darkest parts of the image. That can be done for R, G, and B together using the combined curve, or you can do that individually for each channel. That concludes the demo of the raw power curves adjustment. Thank you for watching.